Hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Today is Young, a cereal box. Friggin' running us through on a solo challenge. Like, you can tell. Like, this is like, you know, what what is this, a cereal box? This is like old man losing his hair cereal box. You put the hat on backwards? Man, I'm back in my freaking university prime. Ready to play some footy. <laughs> okay, and now I have something fun to share. Saturn Systems with two points per Jovian in the starting hand. How can I not pick that? Is it a good start? Hell no. Hell no. But it's interesting. We could try and get the water imports up very quickly. It's not very effective to do that. I really want robotic workforce for some reason, but I can't put my finger on why. Let's say I spend six bucks, then 25 bucks. What does that leave us with? Right, that's six bucks for the cards, 25 bucks for that, that's 31. That leaves us with 11. We wouldn't even have enough to play an ocean from water imports from Europa. So that means that I'm gonna grab a robotic workforce and do nothing on turn one. Yeah, we're just gonna wait a whole turn and we're gonna hope that the draft is better. <laughs> Again, we would have been way better off as Tharsis just cause you start with some cities, some income, you know, what have you. Ooh. Ooh. So peroxide power and ironworks works really well with what we have going on because we can robotic workforce the peroxide power. It's not perfect, but it does something. And then moss is powerful because of its abilities. Its abilities. Uh, and specifically, it's because I want to get water imports from Europa sooner rather than later. In fact, I may get it this turn, which is crazy, uh, but crazy has sense because it's technically one income and I want to rush oceans. This is like way off the path as far as I'm concerned. Like, what are you doing? This is crazy. 25 bucks to have the opportunity to spend 12 bucks for an ocean. Are you kidding me? Uh, but hey, here we are. Nuclear power and bushes. Yeah, we're gonna say no. Man, we don't even have enough uh, to do what I wanted to. Cause it's 12 bucks to get a friggin', oh my God. The next turn we'll have more money. Next turn we will have more money. And we have some titanium income. The oxygen is gonna go up. When you are playing as Saturn Systems and you just want to get as many Jovians as you can, which we are failing at, um, yeah, you're just you're just happy as can be when the oxygen is just kind of taken care of without much of another a second thought. Okay, it's time to buy an ocean, and I wanted to do it for cards. Well, let's look. What do we have? We have 11. If I went for the steel... Yeah, I'm going to go for the steel so we can get a little bit more energy income. And honestly, it's just so that I can... Uh... Oh, I already had a lot of steel. How do we get four steel? What did I do? Oh, the ironworks has been giving us steel and I didn't even account for that. I should have not grabbed the steel, I should have grabbed the titanium. Titanium is worth more, and it will make this turn easier. Because I still want to be buying those things. Ice Asteroid, I don't think we need it. <clears throat> Mining rights, on the other hand, very good. Because we can get more titanium income. Uh, so first we do this. That gets us a steel, we take the steel. We invest in some titanium production over here. Then we take that titanium and it basically pays for half of an ocean. 
which we put down here, which would have been a, almost a better spot for that mine because it would have given us money adjacency or whatever. But you can't have it all, you know? You just, you can't. Um, it didn't work out. And plus we want to be able to place greeneries up there in that area is like really the reason that's valuable. Methane from Titan. Don't mind, but we can't actually play it, you know? We'd have to wait a turn. I think. I don't see a way of playing it, because I still, like... Is it worth it to get an ocean, or to get methane from... It's better to get methane from Titan. It definitely is, because we only need to buy six more oceans, and we have a ton of generations to get that done in. Yo, we're only at five VPs on cards. Keep it up. We, we really wanted something like uh, Vesta Shipyards or Asteroid Mining or, you know, insert other thing here. But, you know, we'll do. Ah, Saleta. Oh, it's such a late Saleta. To the point where I don't think we're going to get it. But I grabbed it just in case. Because I need to get an ocean. And the ocean's gonna go for cards, because really what we what we do to win this solidly is to get lots of good cards. And now look at this. We have three plants in our bank. Nitrolithic moss gets rid of two, we get income. We get rid of another one, we get some income. And then we get micro mills. So now we have heat spilling over, heat production, we get oxygen every round, we're getting five plants a turn. Whoa, the oceans are already going. This is like a Saturn Systems run that is like the most responsible for terraforming. Despite my young mode, I am in the zone for really crushing it. Ooh, or processor. Do we need more energy though? 25 bucks. We could get Saleta though, right? Not quite. So that is expensive. Hmm. I like the idea of these cards. They're not necessarily the best cards, but... I want to get more oceans. Ocean me... Um, just over here for a card. Still looking deep for cards. Ooh, advanced alloys. Yeah, I want advanced alloys. We're going to turn around and then use one dollar and one steel to get another energy production. And if we can get one more energy production, we'll be able to uh, get ore processor going. And if our cards are bad, we have business contacts or networks or whatever it's called, so we can start looking at cards and, and rifling through the deck a little bit quicker. Though we have algae in hand. Oh. Oh. It's too late for Arctic algae in my mind. But Io, how do we get Io? What's the fastest way of getting Io? 33. Yikes. Uh, we want plants here. As much as I want a card, the plant leans us into something good. And I want to get this heat production. Yeah, cool. We're so close to that whole ore processor thing, but it just doesn't make sense. If I bought... If I buy the ocean, which I'm going to do, which is putting off IO, which is bad in so many ways, uh, it's cool because that allows us to get algae this turn. And, like, that's, that's a lot of plants. <laughs> you know, come on, sister. We need to deal with this heat production lack. And we've had Saleta, and we have IO, but we just never had the titanium production to afford these expensive cards. And like fish in large convoy. 
Huge play. Awesome cards. We cannot afford this. This is out of our price range. We would like Isle. We would love an Isle. I hope you don't mind. It means that we're not getting an ocean this round, but again, we have a free ocean up here, and we only need three more total, and we have four rounds after this where we could do it. I'm worried about the heat. I'm glad I never built the ore processor, because this extra heat leaking over is uh, has been good for us, for sure. And honestly, let's just go grab these two plants here. Yeah, so the oxygen, as you can tell, is doing good. Now remember, we have advanced alloys, so our, our titanium that's now up to four production is worth 16 total dollars. Earth catapult! It's not worth it! <laughs> but I'll play it. Because I'm a monster. And I gotta stay true to myself. Earth Catapult. You gotta do it. You got you gotta. You can't not. You can't not do it. And then I will look at a card. Investment loan, yo! And all of a sudden things are looking okay. Um, so that is not worth it. At this point, clearly. Is just not gonna do it. This is great. It costs us three titanium, and then we're gonna get two titanium back and the heat bump. And then here we'll go south route. And then three titanium is twelve dollars because advanced alloys. Yo ho ho. Six oceans. I'm going to play Ganymede Colony because I know I want it. There's no way we're playing this game without getting We have three of the points per Jovians right now. One, two, three. And the only one that's points per Jovian left is actually TR per Jovian when played. So, like, we have all three points per Jovians in the game of Terraforming Mars. In a solo game where we're looking like we're doing okay. Um... Say that, but like, are we? We're not. Kind of, we didn't really get a good draw here, so we're just gonna ignore it. Look at a card. Sadly, we don't need that. We don't need those. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Get that money back. Sweet, sweet money. A little bit of grease in the wheels with some titanium. And then honestly, because we are terrified of losing this run, we are going to do an asteroid. And then we're going to do an asteroid. And then we're going to do an asteroid. And then we're going to do an asteroid. It's not great. It's not efficient. It's bad. But if we have to do that for the next two generations straight, I think we can win it. Also, because I'm not doing that energy action, we're getting extra resources come over. Um, I do like Protected Valley. Along with Mineral Deposit, it would be a pretty easy couple of points. So I'm willing to do that. Mass Converter. Let's look at our tags. We do not have science this game, so bye! So this costs us more than we gain from it, but honestly, like, the fact that we're going to spend 7 steel to go over here, or here, this will net us way more money, because we'll, we'll end up getting into this nook of oceans, which we're buying. So this is the last one we're going to buy with titanium, because we only have one more to go, and we'll build this into here because we just want we just need as much doge as we can get all the doge and I said it once I'll say it again we are afraid 
We are afraid. And we are afraid. Which gives us the ocean. <laughs> which we put here. So now we have a good ocean spot. It's time to start thinking about cities. Mm, this is, what is this, 12, 14. We're going to be two heat short. So we may as well get a steal out of this. Well, I don't know. There are some cards that could have been good for other purposes, but... Look at us go with these greeneries. Comet. That uses titanium, so it's basically free. Industrial center, we pay three bucks to buy it, but then we're going to get four bucks back and two plants. I'm going to look at a card. Insulation doesn't do anything for us. This is just a really, you know, expensive, and I legitimately mean expensive, uh, ooh, that feels good, uh, heat, because it's $19 plus buying the card for the thing, but we have so much titanium. It's going to be five titanium to buy it, and we have no other use for the titanium anyway. You know, I can't come up with a use for it, can you? The answer is no, you can't. You can't do it. So, thank you for attempting to be good. Now it's time because, again, we're afraid. We didn't get space events, right? We did not get the space events that would give us heat, heat production, all this other stuff. So, you know, we just it just is what it is at the end. Now, is there a way for us to get a little bit of money? Because I don't think I can do two standard projects here. Oh, because $41, it costs 46 to do two greeneries, and obviously we'd rather do a city, so I think we're just going to get one city out of this. Though if we put it here, it'll get four greeneries around it. Put it here, it'll get four. If we put it here, it'll get four. Well, if we put it here, That'll get us to 7 and 7, which is 14. So in the bonus phase, we can put a greenery here to get us to 16, which is the next greenery, and then we can go back here. Same thing as if we if we built the city here. We may as well just build the city here. So city here. Right. Good stuff. We turn. We put this here. <clears throat> and all of this is just pointless and useless and does nothing, so... We didn't even get points cards at the end, right? We got all these points for Jovians. Literally all of them. But then we just didn't have any anything but standard project asteroids to do to the end. Ah, this run had just that little bit of potential that excites me. That was like, oh, because we played everything. We were using it. We were being effective with it. We didn't have enough titanium production, but we were on the ball. And we just came up a little bit shy on things to do. Just buy heat bump, buy heat bump. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you like young a cereal box, or if you're like, you know what? I like that balding old guy. Get him back out here. He has a little bit more, you know, maturity. See you in the next one. Cheers.